<laughs> so some Canadians are making some huge waves at the Consumer Electronics Show that's happening right now in Vegas. Right, and for people who don't know the show, it's where all the latest and greatest technology is unveiled. Everything from big company like Samsung or LG to the smaller uh, grassroots one like this Canadian uh, company that I spoke to. And it's all over this headband. Let's take a look. This is the Muse. This is a brain sensing headband. It has sensors on the forehead and behind the ears, connects wirelessly to your smartphone or tablet so that you can interact with content directly with your mind. Slips on just like a pair of glasses. You can do exercises to improve your cognitive functioning, your emotional intelligence, and eventually actually be able to control elements of your environment or your household just by thinking. What I'm fascinated about is where you can take this healthcare. Can you exercise your brain the way you can exercise your heart to prevent things like Alzheimer's? Uh, can you improve concentration? Can you improve your ability to be a better student? Can you find ways to relax your body so you don't have to medicate any longer? Gaming, can you suddenly have a world where crowdsourcing with, with, with sort of brain control, you're making things happen. Life measuring and life hacking is so on trend. People want to measure everything. You know, not only just the cholesterol, uh, they want to measure the calories they burn, the steps they climb. People just really want to know at the speed of life how they're doing it. The fact that you now measure your thoughts and you can start controlling your thoughts to start making you more relaxed, to start getting you to focus more, concentrate more, it's a very big idea. We launched an Indiegogo campaign in October of 2012, and the response was just overwhelming. We raised over a quarter of a million dollars, sold over a thousand headbands. We were tracking our Indiegogo campaign, and you'd open up a you know page on your phone or you know browser on your computer, and you'd click refresh, and every few minutes the number would go up and up and up. And every time you click refresh, I was like you know a rat in a lab experiment, like more, 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 up, 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 up. When we got to 200,000, I think everybody in the neighborhood could hear the like. Woo -hoo! It's crazy, a quarter of a million dollars raised. This company is in Toronto, and simple app they made, you can you put this on, and whenever you're thinking, well, you're always thinking in some way or another, your brain fi fires billions of neurons, and it produces small electric charges. And so these uh, nodes that are located here, they just pick, pick it up, and then they communicate with your smartphone, and that smartphone tracks your brain waves throughout the day. So you can kind of think, oh, I was really stressed here, I was really stressed there. And they're hoping that future application, you could use it, uh, like Tony said in the piece, uh, help with Alzheimer's, help people really build their mind. And it's part of a bigger trend. I mean, you, people have fuel band bracelets, they're tracking their calories. This is just sort of the next step in technology. But stress is so important to your health, or it can be so uh, uh, deleterious to your health. So if a doctor can see the moments of the day that you're stressed and you can see, then you can really focus on where you need to eliminate that and work on it. That's interesting. Instead of just saying, I'm stressed all the time. Now you, yeah. I was stressed at two. <laughs> what was I doing? What, what was and you that? can look like you're going to Coachella. <laughs> just walking around. Yeah. Actually, no, but could you? But you might look. It might look a bit silly, but I mean, if you think about ten years ago, if you s yeah. describe to someone talking to a cell phone and asking what where the directions are, people are like really. And then now, you know, the iPhone does that, and so this just seems to be the natural I'm way things are going. I'm convinced this is the future. I was telling you about an article I read recently about the quantified self and people counting everything and sort of using themselves as uh, guinea pigs for these sort of things, right? You're counting your steps, you're counting your calories, you're counting now your brain waves. Oh my goodness, though, are we going to just become yeah. so self-involved? <laughs> yeah, probably, because you know, in, in track and field, when you're training as an athlete, you have to write down your workout so that a year from now you can see where it is you went wrong or what it is that you did that led to your success. Yeah. So it's almost like this log you yeah. know, brain log. And, you know, when people are trying to lose weight, they're encouraged to write things down. Yeah. What did they eat? So if they're trying to maintain their health and follow, you know, what they're thinking and how they're feeling, that could be the, the next way. Here's a cool development. When I was doing the interview late last week, they got, they got a cold call from Sony PlayStation saying, let's meet up in Las Vegas because we would want to package right. this with our gaming really? system. So a lot of people are chomping at this new product. Uh, some people are going to get it later this summer uh, through the Indiegogo campaign. So I, I mean, Canadian technology. Exactly. I love this it. might it's be the next big thing for this city and, oh, and yeah. for these developers. It's great. Yeah. Thank you so much, nice. Liam. We're going to.